Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidman.com. So Apple has recently rolled out the Mac OS Ventura 13.1 update, and with that update, you could no longer open the web block file using the default web browser. As of now, you could only open the web block file using the Safari browser. Whether it is a bug or a change made by Apple is yet to be ascertained, but one thing is for sure, it is causing quite a lot of issues. So let me first show you what exactly is the bug. So if I make a web block file over here. So this is a web block file. Now if I try to open this file, it will open in the Safari browser only. And it will not open in my current default. For example, in my case, the my current default browser is Google Chrome. But if I open this file, it will open in the Safari browser. Moreover, if I go to the get info page, you could see that it's showing open with Safari and there is no option to change it. Moreover, even the change all button has been grayed out. So as of now, I could only open this file using the Safari browser and not via my Google Chrome or any other web browser. Fortunately, there do exist a couple of workarounds through which you could fix this issue. So let me show you this workaround. First off is the basic workaround of right clicking on the file, selecting open with and choosing the browser of your choice. However, the issue with this is that it will take quite a lot of time. So if you are dealing with many web block files, then you will have to individually right click on the file and select open with and do so for all the web block file, which will take quite a lot of time and efforts. So your next course of action is to convert this web block file to HTML files. While this will get the job done, but it will also lead to a few issues. Let me show you. For example, these are the three web block files that I want to deal with. So I will drag and drop, drop these files to this website. You could choose any site of your choice that do this conversion. So as you could see, all these three files have been converted to HTML. Now, if I open this file, you will see that it will directly open the file in the web browser, which is my current default web browser and not Safari. So as of now, it's open, opening the file in Google Chrome. So this will also fix the issue. But some of you might have a security concern of uploading your file over to a third party website. And that is completely understandable. So you might ask me, what if we simply change the format using the rename tweak? For example, if you simply change its format from weblog to HTML by the rename tweak, then what will happen? Well, unfortunately, it will not work. While it will open this HTML file in the web browser, but it will simply display the link for that file. It will not open that file in the web browser. So you will have to use a website that converts the weblog file to HTML because only then will you be able to open the exact link of that file. If you simply rename it to HTML, then as you could see, it will only open the link in the text format. So you could either use this fix or move over to a third fix, which as of now is the best one. For this fix, we'll be using a third party open source website, which is the open source app. And the name of that app is Swift default. So go to its GitHub page. I have given the link in the description. Then go to the release section and download the latest version zip file. Once you have downloaded it, Extract it anywhere and then open it using its preferential pane file. It will now ask you to select the user. So choose the one of your choice and then hit install. It will only take a few seconds. And once it's done, you need to close the system settings and then relaunch it. You could see that the app is now installed at the bottom left. So select the app. Then go to uniform type identifiers. And you will now have to select the identifier named com.apple web internet location make sure you select only this one identifier so go there and under uniform type identifier scroll to the bottom until you reach the com.apple.web and then select web internet location after that under the viewer section go to other it will open a finder window go to the application section and select the browser of your choice in my case it's google chrome so let me select Chrome and then hit the add button. So from now on and then hit the OK and the notification. So from now on, every web block file will be open in the Google Chrome app. With this, the our task stands successful. And now let me show you as well. If I make a new web block file and if I now open it, it will always open in the Google Chrome browser. Moreover, if you right click on this file and if you go to get info page, you could now see that it has been changed to open with Google Chrome and it's now set as our default browser. So guys, this was all from this video. If due to some reason you want to uninstall this app, then what you need to do is go to system settings, select it, hit the control key and then right click on it.
it will bring the remove option just hit remove and the app will be removed from the system settings and but unfortunately if you do so the bug will then reappear so as of now these were the three different methods just to recall the first one was simply the right click however it will take quite a lot of time the second method is using a third party app that will convert the weblog to html however there might be a few security concern on uploading a file over to a third party website so for now our best bet is using this open source web app that does it job quite efficiently so guys on that note we round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks thanks for watching